Today I am going to show you how to build a super simple iron farm for Minecraft. So this is a double pod iron farm so you'll get double the rates and this is a nether portal based iron farm too. So it will teleport the iron golems to the nether. So if you want to go straight to this tutorial which you can do if you want to, you can use the timestamps in the description. So if you don't want to hear how this farm works and you can use that right now. And if you also want the items too then you can go down there as well, there's an item list down there too. So you can get the items for this farm if you want to. And I'm going to go on to the explanation now. Okay, so now over here we've got a zombie here and the, he is renamed with a name tag. You can also give him an item or give him like some armor or something like that. So he doesn't despawn. And we use a name tag also to stop him from despawning too. And he's just jumping up and down in this water. And there's soft sand under here and this makes him jump up and down. There's enough head area here so he jumps up and down instead of just being up here and just standing on his own upwards. So we have this area up here so he can jump up and down. Now over here are the villagers, so they're encased in here, so we need, we don't want them to escape. So we have this area here, so glass and trapdoors to stop them from escaping, but to make sure that they can still see the zombie. Now we need three villagers so we can spawn in the golem. Any less than they won't be able to spawn any golems. Now over here we've got some slabs here. Now slabs are cheaper than the full block, so that's why we use them. And over here it has to be a full block so the zombie won't escape. These two bits have to be full blocks. And we have to have a slab under here. This has to be a slab. You can't use full blocks or anything like that, so you can jump up and down. Now over here has to be obsidian, so you can make another portal. And there's carpet on top of here to stop mobs from spawning up here. And also golems from spawning up here. Now as golems prefer to spawn quite high up, so we don't want to um, get golems to spawn here. So now onto the nether side. So over here we've got the nether portal. Now this must be linked up to the iron farm. So make sure all the nether portals are linked up, otherwise the iron golems just won't go through the nether portal at all because they'll just stand at another portal and you won't get much iron at all. So when they go into here, they'll jump into this lava here, so they won't actually jump themselves. You have to have a few other golems to spawn here, but they spawn really quickly. So once you have like one or two in here, they'll start pushing each other into the lava. They'll go into this system here. So over here there's a bunch of hoppers here collecting all the items. Now over here I put composters on top of here to reduce lag. That's really important because you want to reduce as much lag as possible, as you might be building tons of farms and you don't want all that lag causing lots of problems. So make sure you put compasses on, to on top of your hoppers if you can. Over here we can't do that because the gons will be standing here and the composter will be in the way. So we're just leaving this plane. This, these hoppers will collect all the items, deliver them into this chest system. Now if you want to you can build an item sorter, but I'm not going to because this is a really simple iron farm and I don't think you'll need too much storage. So now I'm going to go on to the tutorial on how to build this. So first you're going to need to find an area to build this. So try and build this at least 10 to 20 blocks high. Don't build it any lower than 10 blocks, otherwise you'll probably get golems spawning down there and you really don't want that to happen, so make sure that you build it quite high up. Now first you're going to need to get a slab, place it on top of this block here. I'm going to place a temp block in here like this and some blocks around here. I'm going to put some slabs on top of here and I'm going to put some soul sand down here and you can break your temp block here. Now get a temp block again, this is your second temp block and a normal block here. So this is your temp block so we'll break it and I'm going to put a slab on top of here a normal block here, and we're going to put some obsidian here, like this, some slabs here, obsidian on this side, some slabs here, and then last we're going to put some water here. Now we're going to put a 10 block here and here, and we're going to get some obsidian, place it three blocks up, you can break this 10 block now, then do this on the other side too, like that, and we're going to put a 10 block here and here, and then three blocks across here with the obsidian like that and break these blocks in the corner then you can put some more temp blocks here and here get some obsidian place it in like this and you've created a nether portal so now what you can do if you want to you can light the nether portal you might get some zombie fire piglins spawning outside the portal so if you want to you can unlight it just while you're working on this if they're going to get in the way so if you want to then you need to put some carpet on top of here to stop mobs from spawning up here Next we're going to get some more temp blocks and we're going to go from here, one, two, three, four, and we're going to get some beds. You can use any coloured beds you want. Some people like to use red beds because they're like the OG beds, but you can use whatever colour you want to. And put some beds across here like this. You can break these temp blocks now, unless you want, want to use them as scaffolding. Now what you're going to do is you're going to get a temp block. So I'm going to put it here and some glass. You can break your temp block now, put some glass around here. Then what I'm going to do is I'm going to get another temp block here, some glass here, break the temp block, another temp block, 
put the glass here like that. I'm going to get another temp block and I'm going to put it here and here. And I'm going to put some trapdoors going across here like this. And you're going to want to do this on the other side too. Now you're going to want to open your F3 menu. So click on F3 which is at the top of your keyboard. And it should come up like this. So you have a debug menu. And what you want to do is you want to stand on top of one of these never portals. So it can be any of them. Now you want to write down your coordinates. So mine are minus 5 and minus 1140. And you also want to write down the Y coordinate. If you want to, you can have it as the same Y height of the Dever Portal if you want to. And that just makes it a bit more accurate when linking. Now with the coordinates that you've saved in the overworld, you're going to have to go to the Nether. And what you're going to need to do is try and find a safe area when doing this or press pause on the game. And you want to go into a calculator and divide the coordinates by 8. So all of the coordinates except the Y coordinates by 8. And then that's where you want to build your Nether Portal to collect all the items. So I haven't done the calculation because I've already got one here. And it's kind of in the way, so I'm going to do it over here. Just pretend that mine's here. So if I go up here and build some 10 blocks here, I'm going to put some obsidian on top of here, and this is where the nether portal will be. Then I'm going to break those 10 blocks, put some obsidian here, like this, put some 10 blocks here, go up three blocks, put some 10 blocks here, or well, one 10 block anyway, and put some obsidian in there. Then I'm going to put a 10 block here and some obsidian down here. So now we've got a nether portal. So we don't want to light it, light it yet, we want to build this first, so get some glass. I like to use glass so you can look through it, but you can use any block you want. It doesn't have to be swarm proof too. And I'm just going to put some glass around here. Now a temp block in here, like this, and some glass here. And we do this on the other side too. Now what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to go down here with a temp block. And, well not a temp block I mean, like a normal block. Put some signs across here. Like this, and we're going to go down to glass too. Now we're going to need our composter, so get your composter and place it under here. Like this, so you need two composters like this. Then we're going to get some glass, some more glass. Place it down here like this, to make like a layer here. Then what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a chest. So you can use any chest you want. You can make the chest system even bigger if you want to. Then get some hoppers and place them in like this. And like that, perfect. Now the last step you're going to need to do is you're going to need to get your lava. So if you want to, you can just break this with silk touch to get through. And just put some lava here. I'm going to replace that again. Then I'm going to go into the nether, so if I get my flint and steel. Like this, and light the portal. So now I'm going to show you a little trick which you can do to move the villagers into place. So what you can do is you can get a villager breeder and hook it up to this to have a bubble column that moves the villagers all the way up to here. And when they get to this place here, they'll claim a bed. So they'll walk up here, and they'll walk into bed. So what you'll need to do is you need to build this sort of setup here, with the walkways here, so make sure they all lead to the beds here, and they all have access to the beds. And have this wall here so they don't fall off here, because they do actually do that. So when the first one's in, the others will kind of fall down there without this wall, so make sure you have this wall in place like that. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to get some villagers. I'm going to place one here, here. You should do this one at a time, or try to do it one at a time, really. Then what you're going to need to do with the second one is you're going to need to nudge it into place. So there, and it will nudge into the bed. Get another one. Now this one, you might need to nudge into bed too. Like this, and it's in bed. And then once you're done with it, you can just break all this. You have to break all of this, otherwise the villagers will be able to escape. Because they'll just land onto the platform there. So break this after you finish with it. Like that. And you're done with the villagers. So now I'm going to show you how to transport the zombie into place. So first you're going to need a zombie so they can just spawn naturally outside during the dark. So in the night they'll spawn quite often and you'll probably be able to find one and get one in a minecart. Um, if not then you might have to use a zombie spawner which is probably, they're not that rare to find so you can probably find one quite easily. So you just need a zombie. Now what you're going to need to do is I'm going to get a minecart and I'm going to place it here. And I'm going to put a zombie here. And he'll go inside the minecart like that. Now we'll be going across here like this. You might get some golem spawning now and then. So I move him in place like that. And as you can see, there's some golem spawning right now. Um, that shouldn't really matter that much because the golem will be over here. So he is spawning up here, but he won't be able to get to the zombie at all because the zombie's under here. So keep that in mind. You don't need to worry at all. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to rename the zombie. 
like that. I'm gonna put break this block here, so actually this rail there, and put a slab here. Now I'm gonna go into survival mode and do this. So if I go here and I'm gonna put F3 and B like that, and that'll show hit boxes. I'm gonna have to break this, and he's in place. Perfect. So now what you need to do is you need to break all of this rail and these blocks. So now your iron farm is finished. So I hope you enjoyed this video and found it useful. If you want to you can subscribe but I really don't mind because I do this for fun. This is quite interesting to design and quite fun. I really do like designing iron farms now and then. They're quite enjoyable to do and I quite like to do them quite often in my free time. So this is quite a fun challenge and I enjoyed it a lot. So if you want to you can also leave a like. That really helps a lot. It means it gets suggested more so more people know how to build a simple iron farm. Or well, simple double pod iron farm. Because this is two pods. So it's double the efficiency. So I'll see you in the next video if you're going to watch any more of my videos. And goodbye.